Francis praises James Martin, gay activist priest, for his LGBTQ work with Catholics. The head of the Catholic Church, St. James Martin, an encouraging letter praising him for his work with LGBTQ Catholics and comparing it to the work of Jesus and the mercy of God. The message is very confusing for gay Catholics who have received recently opposition from Rome, as with the bishops and priests in Germany and other countries that are blessing gay couples. But it seems that the famous phrase, who am I to judge, still holds and is coming to life again. The Reverend James Martin is America's most known Catholic priest for his work on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert and for his support to gay Catholics. He shared the June 21, 2021 letter from the head of the Vatican. The letter was written in Spanish and James Martin is praised for a conference that he held on Saturday 19th of June with 1,000 attendees about his ministry to LGBTQ Catholics. In the letter, Francis wrote, I want to thank you for your pastoral zeal and for your ability to be close to people with the closeness Jesus had and which reflects the closeness of God. Thinking of your pastoral work, I see that you are continually seeking to imitate this style of God. Francis wrote, And I pray for your faithful, your flock, and all those whom the Lord places in your care. Comments What is really happening with our Catholic Church? Well, let me tell you. It is no longer a Catholic Church. The Universal Catholic Church is supposed to be the same everywhere. And it sticks to the Catechism and the teachings of the Fathers of the Church, the Ten Commandments, and the Holy Scriptures. The new Church that is emerging with this pontificate contradicts the faith held by Catholics for more than 2,000 years saying that working with homosexuals is the style of God, Francis is committing a great heresy, once again, because God does not work with homosexuals. He wants them to repent. Sin cannot be accepted. Repentance must be preached. Only the devil would accept sin in man, but nothing sinful can enter heaven. Apocalypse 21st verse 8, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death, Apocalypse 21 verse 27. Nothing impure will enter heaven, nor will anyone who does what is shameful or deceitful but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So, what we see in our Catholic Church is someone repeatedly exalting sin and perverting the teachings of the Church and the commandments of the law of God. What we really see more and more is how sin is glamorized, how cardinals and bishops Wash their hands at the new doctrines made to please men, not God. And how so many priests are perverting the teachings of Christ and want to accommodate religion mixed with sin as a supposed blessing, even though this is a true curse from the devil. Mercy doesn't exist if justice is taken away. False mercy is taking many souls to hell. All confused sinners continue their race to hell because repentance is no longer preached. But the Lord will punish the wicked. Isaiah 5 verse 20 Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light 
in light or darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Isaiah 3 verse 9, the look on their faces testifies against them. They parade their sin like Sodom, they do not hide it. Woe to them! They have brought disaster upon themselves. Homosexuality has been, is, and always will be reprehensible to God. Let us not forget that for this sin the Lord rained fire from heaven for the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Genesis 19 verse 24 Those who believe and want to live as Christians must be converted. Those who do not believe can continue to sin. No one prevents them. But please, dear brothers and sisters who accept or practice homosexuality, do not have the false hope of salvation because you are doomed to die eternally and cannot enter heaven unless you repent. Leviticus 20 verse 13, if a man lies with another man and is done with a woman, as is done with a woman, both have committed an abomination. They are to die. They are blood on them. Romans 1 verse 26, that is why God gave them over to infamous passions. Their wives reversed natural relationships for others against nature. Romans 1 verse 27, likewise, men abandoning the natural roots of women burn themselves in desires for one another, committing the infamy of man with man, receiving in themselves the payment they reserved for their loss. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be aware, St. Paul tells us, Galatians 1 verse 8, but even if we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let them be under God's curse. St. Paul warns us about the false prophet and the Antichrist. The evidence is extremely clear. Let us pray to the Lord for all the people in the hierarchy of the Church and for all priests. And also let us pray for all the world leaders. A great responsibility is on their hands. The future of humanity depends on their guidance. May God help us. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. Please tell us, do you think it is okay for religious leaders to teach a false mercy based on accepting people's sins? How do you see the homosexual issue in the Catholic Church? We'd love to hear from you. God bless you.